Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Olga Algeyarova, who is UNECE Executive Secretary. The UNECE is the UN Economic Commission for Europe. Olga, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Now, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, the fact that we're here for the Future Network Car Symposium. Uh, and intelligent transport systems have been very much revolutionizing mobility, but they've also been bringing about uh, their own challenges with regards to uh, uh, regulations, of course. I wanted to ask you, what are the most uh, interesting regulatory questions brought about by uh, contemporary transport innovation? Look, for us, uh, regulation in uh, transport uh, or in automotive industry is uh, bread and butter for 72 years. Uh, today we have 59 UN conventions to regulate this industry quite successfully. Just uh, seven of them directly are uh, addressing the road safety. And this is why this um, increasing uh, attention is attracted to automated vehicles, intelligent transport system, connected vehicles, uh, assisted uh, driving. And of course, it needs regulation. And you're asking me why. And the question is quite simple for safety, for road safety, for who is, for instance, uh, bearing the responsibility when driving in driverless car. Uh, is it producer, is it the driver, is it the owner, is it uh, who is that, uh, uh, what about insurance. So all these uh, newly developing uh, industrial sector must be regulated in some way just to, to, to have a clear lines of responsibility and to bring the 100% uh, safety for our road users and this is what we expect because uh, today the roads are also not 100 percent safe now uh, UNEC are very much the conveners uh, uh, of all of the uh, people involved all the, the major stakeholders and players here i wanted to ask you uh, how are the responsibilities of road transport regulators and ict regulators converging and how are regulators managing this convergence Look, this must go hand in hand, and uh, everybody plays it, uh, his or her crucial role. As mentioned, uh, UNEC is, is regulating the transport, uh, developing standards, norms, legal instruments. Uh, as you see today, ITU is a very important partner of, uh, f for us in area of telecommunication. And of course, the car industry itself, we have uh, car industry representatives here today, so they need to implement and use our legal tools, our standards and norms. So it must go hand in hand as much as possible. And it's a question of future, how we are able to, to cope with uh, this challenge. Now, UNEC and ITU uh, have been uh, co-organizing uh, this uh, Future Network Car Annual Symposium. I wanted to ask you, what is the greatest value of this symposium to UNECE, as well as to the wider intelligent transport community? I must tell that this is already tradition, because uh, I believe this is the seventh or eighth time when we co-organize it together. Usually, as you know, we go to the International Geneva Motor Show. That was unfortunately not uh, possible today. However, ITU is, uh, was very flexible on uh, logistical accommodation of this event. The value added is very high because then the dialogue again between regulators about uh, manufacturers, between car industry, uh, between cybersecurity experts, uh, artificial intelligence experts. So this is very important to come together and to speak about this challenging and currently developing area of industry. Olga Algeyerova, thank you so much for being with us today and, uh, and hopefully we will catch up with you again at some stage in the near future, uh, perhaps at the, the Geneva Motor Show next year. With pleasure. Have a nice day. Thank you.